At first glance, the common cold and the flu, they look pretty similar. There's a stuffy nose, sore throat, and just overall feeling miserable. But it might seem that they are similar, but it's important to know the differences because even if colds are mild, the flu can be very serious. Yeah, News 19's Whitney Sullivan is here with us now to help us tell the difference between the cold and the flu. Well, the flu and the common cold are both respiratory illnesses, but they're caused by different viruses. Now, because these two types of illnesses have similar symptoms, it can be difficult to tell them apart. But the two share fewer symptoms than you might think. People dealing with the flu or cold have to battle congestion, cough, and a sore throat. Those are the similarities. But if you're getting chills, muscle aches, headaches, and extreme tiredness, you might have the flu. The flu also hits suddenly, while you usually feel a cold gradually come on. And if you have a fever higher than 100 degrees, that's another sign that you might have the flu. Now the flu will usually last about one to two weeks, and you can even feel weak and tired for weeks longer. Well, we also talked with a doctor at Lexington Medical Center about how to tell the difference between the two. Initially, it's very difficult to tell the difference and the presenting symptoms. The, the flu is a respiratory uh, virus that infects the nasal passages, the throat, and sometimes the lungs. Therefore, the rhinovirus, uh, different other viruses can present exactly like the flu initially. But really, you need to be evaluated by your primary care physician or urgent care if you do have flu-like symptoms. Well, while I was researching for this, I found a chart put together by the Center for Disease Control. It has a list of signs and symptoms and then breaks down how they occur with each sickness. And so I'll show you right here. So this says symptom onset, the flu. It's abrupt with the cold. It's pretty gradual, like we said, a fever with the flu. It usually happens, but with a cold, it's rare. And then we have aches. It usually happens again, but with a cold, it's slight. And so again, this is a great tool that you can use to help determine if you have the flu or the cold. Now, the best way to avoid these two is to wash your hands and to stay away from anyone who may be sick. I know you hear it all the time, but we got to keep putting that out there. And regular exercise may also help prevent the common cold as well, or at least shorten how long you may have it. And of course, the best way to fight the flu is to get a flu shot. And yes, friends, it is not too late.